Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at Fred Home alternative. And now we are looking at this Fred Home alternative for the given integral equations instead of the normal operator equations, right? So we have a result here in terms of this theorem. It states that if the kernel k in the equation, now we are given some second kind of integral equation which is represented by equation 1 here x of s minus mu times of integral from a to b this is the kernel k s t x t dt that is equal to y tilde s so here obviously x t is the unknown quantity given in this integral equation and uh, this k the kernel here this represents uh, the phenomena and it is mathematically modeled in terms of uh, this kernel right y tilde s that is some given function that is already known to us mu is the variable now they are saying if the kernel uh, they are uh, uh, talking about the kernel here the kernel in this equation is such that the operator t from x to x where x is the corresponding norm space this operator in the equation tx minus lambda x is equal to y and in this equation t of x s is equal to integral a to b k of s t x t dt so that means if you remember in the previous video we have used this equation this equation in order to convert this particular given integral equation into the corresponding operator equation tx minus lambda x is equal to y right this we have already done so how we if we saw what is the link between these two here so now we, they are saying if the kernel is such that this op, uh, this equation uh, for this operator equation the, the operator t here is compact and linear operator defined on the norm space x then for that particular operator t the fred home alter, uh, alternative holds for the operator t lambda so what is t lambda t minus lambda i so they are saying if the kernel is such that the corresponding operator equation here is such that the operator t here is compact and linear in that case t minus lambda i would surely follow the fred home alternative so by saying that what do we mean we mean that equation one would have a unique solution here for all the values of y tilde taken from the norm space or the homogeneous equations corresponding to equation one so what is that we have tx minus lambda x is equal to 0. This is the homogeneous equation corresponding to equation 1. This equation would have finitely many line, linearly independent non-trivial solutions. Right. So this is the result that is given in uh, for integral equation in terms of red home alternative. Now let's see how we can prove this result and accept it further. So here for the proof we assume that the operator t here in equation 2 so what was equation 2 tx minus lambda x that is equal to y this equation in this equation the operator t is compact now then they are saying if lambda is in the resolvent set so here we are making an assumption that lambda is present in the resolvent set of t then uh, we would say the operator r lambda t which is nothing but the inverse of the operator t lambda so what is r lambda it is the inverse of t lambda and what is t lambda d minus lambda i right so that is that you already know so in this case the resolvent would exist it is defined on all x it is bounded and it gives the unique solution what is that x is equal to r lambda t y right why so because we had this equation t x minus lambda x is equal to y so you could write this as t minus lambda i of x is equal to y so you could further write this to be t lambda x is equal to y right so if you wanted to calculate x from here it would be x is equal to t lambda inverse into y and what is t lambda inverse it is r lambda so you have r lambda y here right so you, we have obtained x is equal to r lambda t y from this equation 2 and in this case r lambda t exists why because we are saying this lambda is some member from the resolvent set and for that we have the resolvent as uh, as a bounded operator which exists also right so this is the property that we already 
no now moreover as this resolvent operator is linear then in that case if we map it it, it will map zero onto zero of the normed space so it implies that the homogeneous equation here tx minus lambda x is equal to zero this equation would have only the trivial solution why because it is mapping zero onto zero right so that means when you input x is equal to zero here you are getting y is equal to zero here so what is this this is y actually the y is equal to zero you are getting it from x is equal to zero so this is the only solution for this equation so that means here lambda if we are taking this lambda uh, non zero complex number from the resolvent set of the operator t then case one of the fred home alternative holds because in case one they are saying the homogeneous equation would have the trivial solution so this is what they are saying here so first part of fred home alternative is defined here and moreover if this belongs to the resolvent set so that means what would happen the modulus of this lambda would be greater than equal to the norm of the operator t this result we already know right so through this result we can see that so we we may assume that the given space x that is a complex banach space that is a generalized thing even if it is real it is also complex there is no problem in that so we if we assume this x to be a complex banach space in that case we have lambda taken from the resolvent set why because you see if it it was there in the spectrum set spectrum of the given operator t then it would lie inside this test now because it is lying in the resolvent set and what is resolvent set that is the complement of that is the complement of the spectrum set right so it would lie outside this disk so that means the radius here the distance of all this lambdas would be greater than the norm of t and moreover we have this result that r lambda t could be written as minus inverse of lambda times the identity operator plus lambda inverse t and so on the, the these kind of series ex expression in terms of operator right so because we had written here x is equal to r lambda t y so now we can uh, represent this x here in terms of r lambda t so we had x is equal to r lambda t y so what is r lambda t it is nothing but this expression so we have to apply on the right hand side uh, this thing multiplied with y so we would have minus 1 by lambda as such i of y is nothing but y so y plus 1 by lambda as such then in terms of t we would write t y lambda minus 2 would be this thing then t square applied on 2y and so on so and what is this this series is known as the newman series now for the second case here for the fred home alternative how we can uh, reach uh, at the result at the final result for the second case this uh, uh, this case is obtained if we take some non zero element lambda which is now present in the spectrum set if this spectrum set of this exist of this operator exist and uh, if such a lambda exist then if that is so now we are saying we have a non zero lambda which is lying in the spectrum set so that means it is a non zero spectral value it is a non zero spectral value of the operator t so by this result because we know or uh, if t has some non zero spectral value then those spectral value must be the given eigen values of the operator t so that means lambda has to be the eigen value for the operator t and moreover because the dimension of every null space is finite dimension in case of compact linear operator therefore the corresponding eigen space of this operator t is also finite its dimension is finite that means it would contain finite number of eigen values in it and moreover we also studied a result that the dimension this result it tells you that the dimension of the operator t lambda right the null space of uh, the operator t lambda that is equal to the dimension of the null space of t lambda cross which is the adjoint 
operator corresponding to the operator t lambda so here we are saying the dimension of the eigen space of t lambda that is equal to the dimension of the eigen space of t lambda cross right by this result this we have already studied right thus because the two null spaces are equal to each other it means they would have the same number of linearly independent solutions for the given homogeneous equation so that means this is nothing but the statement for the uh, second case in the fred home alternative so that means in this case we had when we had taken lambda non zero quantity from the spectrum set of the operator t in that case our second case of fred home alternative is valid so we have proved both the cases of fred home alternative here in this video and we have uh, we we have shown here that just a second and here we have shown that for the integral equation the fred home alternative holds and uh, it is given by this very beautiful result well that is it for this video thank you for watching